third. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Nasty, and this is probably my last vlog. Mm, well, we'll never know. Maybe we'll continue this and be an actual vlogger. Anyways, since I have been talking about Filipino relationships for the past two vlogs, I want to relate one of the most important aspects of my life as a Filipino teenager, which is my student life. Filipino teenagers who are in relationships are usually viewed by others as people who prefer Lendi over Akads. Every time that others see a young couple, they will easily judge them and say, Walang ginawa yan kundi mag-date. Feel ko laging bumabagsak yan kasi puro jowa inaatupag. However, these stereotypes are not always right. People shouldn't generalize as it always depends on the situation. Let us use myself as an example. As a child, I have always been serious about my studies. That's why in high school, when I started to have relationships, I really did my best in order to prove myself and the people around me that I can do both. I excelled in terms of academics and even had a healthy and happy relationship. Now that I have shown you guys that relationships do not really hinder you from being academically good, I am going to give you tips on how to balance your student life and love life. First and most important of all is time management. It would really be helpful if you know what to prioritize first depending on the situation. You should be able to manage your own schedule and let your partner know about it as well. For example, if it's a special day for your special someone, choose to be with them especially if your studies can be done after that day or later that day. However, if it's your exam week, always choose to prioritize your studies first instead of going out. Another tip is to get yourself a partner who not only understands you as a person, but also understands your priorities. Knowing that academics is important for you, it should be okay for them to let you study by yourself. But if you still want to spend time together, you can study together. Just don't let it be a distraction and let it be a motivation. And last tip is, of course, self-discipline. You really need to teach yourself to focus on what is more important in making yourself grow and what will affect your future. Don't make your love life your only world. You should still choose and focus on what is best for yourself. To reiterate everything that I've said, it is not right to judge other couples about their studies according to the stereotypes. There are those couples who succeed in both aspects of life because they know how to balance their time well, choose their priorities first, and can discipline themselves accordingly. And that is the end of my third vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned about Filipino relationships. Thank you for watching and see you all next time. Bye!